Nearly two years before the arrest that led to the death of Freddie Gray, Tyrone West died in custody of the Baltimore City Police. And tonight, West's sister is now releasing new information that she hopes will force investigators to reopen his case. ABC 2 News' Christian Schaefer has been following this story, and he's here now with an update tonight. Yeah, guys, Tyrone West's sister has been protesting every Wednesday since his death back in the summer of 2013. She held a news conference today on a Monday because she feels the new information should lead to a new investigation of her brother's death. Officers pulled over Tyrone West's car in Northeast Baltimore back on July 18th, 2013. They say that they had to chase and then tackle West, who died in handcuffs. An extensive review that the city police department assigned to an independent review board found that West died because he had a heart condition and dehydration. None of the officers were charged criminally by the state's attorney at the time, Greg Bernstein. Now, West's sister, Tawanda Jones, has brought in the chief of pathology from a hospital in New Jersey to look into the case. And she says that he has determined that West died from asphyxiation, not a heart condition and being dehydrated. And she says the new forensic scientist found that her brother was strangled while being restrained by police. We want Marilyn Mosey, our beautiful state's attorney, to go ahead and prosecute these officers and give yeah. us the same thing that she did for Fr Freddie Gray family because it did not start with Freddie Gray and it don't end with Freddie Gray. Jones is calling on the current state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, to sign off on a request to exhume the body of Tyrone West for an independent autopsy. A spokeswoman for the state's attorney did not return a request for comment tonight. Christian Schaefer, ABC 2 News.